Cam with another video for HowToDigitalPaint.com Continuing the series, Digital Painting in Photoshop Now in episode 11 we're looking at preparing line art So give you some tips for scanning your line art uh, Adjusting the different levels, extracting the line work And creating a handy action that will automate the process So let's get started So this this process is based on you having some tools that you've that you've drawn and you scan it in. Uh, some basic tips for scanning the line art is going to be scan it at 600 DPI, and then you can reduce it down. That way, the original scan will have better clarity. And also, even if it's grey artwork, scan it with RGB because the the technology and the software seems to scan better in RGB mode. So I have this line work, it's just a tree that I draw at a park. It's currently 600 dpi, so we're going to drop that down. We go to image, image size, just dropped out down 300. And now we want to clean it up a bit. So you can just duplicate the ground layer. And you might you might want to tilt it a bit, or have a if it's scanned at an odd angle, just adjust that. And now we can just make a levels layer, adjust the levels a bit. Looks good. Now we just clean up these other little messes. So I've just got an airbrush and a new layer. Set to white, hundred percent. Cleaning up. You want to make sure that the parts that you don't want to scan are at a hundred percent white, or else they're going to show up when we when we extract the lines. So to check that, you can just check with with the eyedropper. The saturation doesn't matter, just make sure that it's 100% brightness. And usually, by boosting up the levels, it will eliminate that anyway. Okay, so now we're going to create a... We're going to create an action that will extract all this. So I'll explain how that action works and you can record your own as, as we go along so now that I'm happy with with what I have I can flatten it so selecting all the layers control E or just clicking here and flatten image so now we create new action in the actions palette call it extract lines Give it a give it a hotkey function. Record. So now what we do first step is to image mode grayscale discard. Go to channels that gray channel. Then go to image mode back to RGB mode. Create a new layer. Go back to your channels palette. Control click the grey grey channel thumbnail to select it. You'll see these entrails appear. Now control shift I to inverse the selection. Or you can go to select inverse and then go to on the new layer, select the color that you want to fill the lines with. So Alt Backspace with the color now selected, and it's now filled that selection with the color of your preference. Now deselect Control D, create a new layer, fill it with white, and you can delete the old lines. And you'll see now we have 
lines on their own layer and you can now just stop stop that action maybe just delete those last two because it's got this hide and show layer which is a bit unnecessary so now now you have an action which will extract all those and make what's quite a complicated process simple in the click of a button so now um, we'll just test that action again see if it can be repeated flatten now we click the hotkey or you can click here alternatively you can set the actions palette to button mode by clicking the sub menu and then we can just click the button here and yeah straight away we have we have our lines extracted and we can paint underneath the lines we can even paint over the lines on a setting it to multiply we can color the lines duplicate show on show set it to lock transparency and it will paint the information that's there, the pixel information or without doing lock transparency you can just control click the layer thumbnail and then control H to get rid of the entrails and then paint, paint the lines and prepare them to, to you know go in and render it out or you might just want to leave it line work. But yeah, hope that hope that helps.